Austria, 1882. Joseph Breuer and Sigmund Freud are walking through the streets of Vienna. Freud is 26 years old and still holds high the views of mechanism, a philosophical leftover from the scientific revolution of the 17th century that stated that the universe itself, along with every subunit of it, could be viewed as a machine. For Freud, a neurologist, this meant that the illnesses of man, whether of strictly physical or mental nature, could be explained by the functions of the body. Everything could be rendered understandable by pure physiology. According to this view, the mind of, a, let's say, a frog and the mind of a human being did not vary in anything but their differing level of complexity and structural dissimilarity. Breuer is a 40-year-old physician and an old friend of Freud's. During the walk, Breuer shares his experience of a hysterical patient that he had treated recently, Bertha Pappenheim, but Breuer used the alias Anna O to protect her privacy. Breuer told Freud how he had effectively put an end to the extreme fits she had been having, fits which can be explained as seizures triggered by psychological factors. The method that seemed to help her the most was hypnotism. Using hypnotism, he was able to track back her symptoms to when Anna had to watch over her sick father before he died. He had located the root of the symptoms in her suppressed memory from which her illness had spread. This patient sparked something within Freud's mind. Are people suffering from hysteria in fact haunted by suppressed memories? Would the remembrance of that memory cure the patient? But perhaps, most importantly, this take on the psychological aspect of the mind seemed to contradict the teachings of mechanical philosophy.